Back together again. Mark Zeno no longer on assignment. I can't wait to talk to my good buddy again. And last week just didn't feel right. We're talking Monday Night Football here on the Morning Wager. But first, we've got two Major League Baseball looks for you. Mark, all is right with the world. I, I, I'm i trying to start with some positivity because I know where the direction you may take this year. But you've got to look in the first five on Angels, White Sox. What better way? to get the week started than by talking about the two worst teams in the American League. Well, it, it, it stands to reason because I'm one of the worst handicappers we've seen in quite some time. So <laughs> now before we get to the it. game, let's just talk about what transpired this weekend because, you know, if things were looking up and things were going well, you know, we wouldn't have had uh, the, 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 the freaking uh, Oregon State Beavers get their doors blown off in the second half of that game after hanging around the first game. And then, of course, on Sunday, the Rams actually would have showed up and played a football game that mattered. The Cowboys would have showed up and played a football game that mattered. And then to put the cherry on top of it on Sunday night, it would have been nice for them not to fumble the ball inside the five-yard line, the Houston Texans, which would have been an easy cover, securing even with a field goal there, securing a cover. But no, we fumble it, and we end up getting a push at the end of the night. So, look, I have a piece of advice for everybody. Um, you you could take your money and give it to Shohei Otani's translator and take his picks better than taking mine. If you were going to spend $29 at wager talk so this is like 20 right here if you're going to do this you'd be better off taking this money using it as toilet paper or crumbling it up and throwing it away because guess what that's what i was this weekend complete and utter trash so now that we got that out of the way um part of this business angels and white socks uh angels and, white socks. Suck. And, and let me tell you why i suck um Love yes the angels and white socks, they also suck so uh, this is a marriage made in heaven here three sucky crappy individuals um, attempting to pretend that they know what they're doing. So the Angels are starting Reed Detmers at home against Jonathan Cannon. Jonathan Cannon also happens to be a dumpster fire like my record this past weekend. He's got a 1.4 whip and a 4.5 ERA. Uh, this is also a White Sox team that we know now is not very, very good. Jonathan Cannon in four of his last five starts has given up at least three runs here. We're going to shorten this game, cut it in half. Why? Because guess what? Uh, I don't feel like staying up late to watch it. Neither should you. Um, that's one reason. The other reason is because if the Angels don't get on top of Jonathan Cannon early, guess what? They're not going to win this game at all. They're going to lose to the lowly White Sox. Reed Detmers has been good over his last two starts, six innings, two runs in each of his last 10. He struck out 18 batters over the last two starts against two pretty good lineups in the Dodgers and Twins. So he should be able to be in control here. Uh, we'll lay the half run in the first five with the pathetic Angels who are playing the more pathetic White Sox who are being bet on by the most pathetic me. Smash that like button if you like the oh, Angels. Yeah, like First that. five Smash on the run line. Button. Smash, Smash that like goal. button if you yeah. respect Mark Zitto's honesty. Buddy, we're turning this around. It's a new week. We'll turn it around. BP. I love you, buddy. If I turned around, okay, I'd be. it, it wouldn't get any better. It, it, it can't get worse. We well, haven't literally exactly. hit rock bottom. No, it, 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 it will. I, I trust you. Smash that like button. Turn Mark's frown upside down. Let's get it going. All right, my half of the double play. Little straightforward bet here. D-backs, Rockies over 11. Uh, if you caught the morning wager on Friday where Adam Trigger was a guest host, thank you to Trigg for jumping on Thursday and Friday while Mark was on us. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati, okay? Actually, we're on to Denver in Colorado. Let's talk about this game. Where Arizona takes its league-leading offense into uh, what I think everyone knows is the most hitter-friendly park in all of baseball. Uh, Diamondbacks have scored double-digit runs three of their last six games. They've scored six or more in five of the last six. Uh, this is a team that is the highest scoring both home and and away team at all of baseball, as uh, is Arizona. And then you look at Colorado, obviously, if you paid attention to this franchise at all for the last 30 years, you know they score way more at home than they do on the road. On Friday, I was trying to get this out at the beginning, uh, I gave away, uh, I gave out Colorado team total over in that game against the Cubs. That hit easily. They scored nine runs in that game Friday. Uh, I look at the two starters here. Senzatella, he has not started a big league game since May of last year. Merrill Kelly for Arizona, 6.26 ERA, his last five starts. I think Colorado's good for at least five here, okay, which is what they average anyway. And if they get to five, this game's going over because, again, Arizona guaranteed nine at-bats, Mark. You can Maybe if you want to make yourself feel better, do your Brian Power voice. Well, They're going to well. put up some runs. It's over 11 D-backs Rockies in this NL West showdown to go along with Mark's Angels' first five run line. Drop your favorite baseball plays in the comments section 
below. Uh, I can only make fun of you when I'm actually pretending like I know what I'm doing. And right now I can't. So it would be insulting to you and the viewers of this program that uh, I would make fun of you when I should only make fun of myself at how bad I was the past few days. So, and as Joe Ranieri said, hey, it was a bad weekend. Guess what? We got 15 more of these. Good job, you know. Way to go. This, it, it, can only, it can only get exactly. better. Exactly. You. You, you've got 15 more. Mark said it's going to turn around. Uh, I will say something. Po- 15 I, more I, wonderful I, weekends of misery. Stop it. All right. I'm I, highly nice suggest to viewers, I highly suggest the viewers of this program go to wagertalk.com. And when they see my page, go, you know, I could spend that $29 on weed, <laughs> boom, and probably a very inexpensive call girl. Uh, then rather, you know, buy Zeno's pick. So I, I think that's probably a better course of action that you guys should all go through. Um, look at all those things. And yeah, I mean, look, I would tell you this. You have to be high to buy my picks. You absolutely have to be high to buy my picks. Stop. Um, I'm going to say nice things about myself right now. These are, um, these are not decisions of coherent people, but go ahead. Go on. Uh, let's, let's, let's go on with the chloroform. I, I, I went, I went three and zero on Sunday in the NFL. Um, that was, it, was, it was nice. It was nice. It was good. It was tell, good. tell the viewers, DP, what you have up at the site right now. Please tell them all. I will be having a Monday night football pick and oh, a yes. major league baseball pick. You can get both of them for twenty nine dollars at wt.buzz slash bp. Again, yes. It was a 3-0 and sweep. We broke out the broom in the NFL. Best bet on the Commanders. Mark, when the Steelers kick six field goals and win a game, I say they're lucky. When the Commanders kick seven field goals and win a game, I say good job. We also had the Packers. Uh, that was a wire-to-wire cover against the Colts. And we had a teaser with the Browns and Broncos. Thank you, Sean Payton, for being a weenie and kicking that field goal. I had many clients uh, message me on X saying, did you pay Sean Payton to do that? I said, no, I did not, but I'm happy he did. So that is how Sunday went. Got a little uh, lucky in some plays, and we'll look to keep it going tonight. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask ask me what I have up at the site. Go ahead. Mark, what you. do you have available at wagertalk.com on this glorious Monday? Absolutely dare you. Nothing of note, but I would tell you uh, that uh, the one thing I did get right yesterday was my player prop on Amara St. St. Brown. He went way over his receiving yards. So good that job. was good. That was good. Good uh, job. Yeah. I mean, you see that website right there? Trash. Don't, Absolutely. don't stop. Absolutely okay, trash. this is I, – I don't even know what to say to this 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 programmer. I was so excited to talk to you today. We, we weren't in the same we, – we couldn't do the show technically together last week. I, and, and, I, 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 I missed you. Yeah, I missed you until Saturday they started kicking off footballs. And that's, that's, when I did, that's when I didn't miss you anymore. Okay, I didn't miss I, anybody. Well, there I, we know. go. But I'm going to continue to pretend that I'm Shohei Otani's translator and fire bets at will. <laughs> Uh, like some others who just, you know, okay. feel like it's okay to go 14 and 27 in a weekend. Uh, you know? so we go. Why not? Just okay. Do Let's talk about, you know, you know what, you know who we don't want to go 14 for 27 tonight is Kirk Cousins because our show best yeah. bet is him over 21 and a half pass completions. You and I were talking uh, before the show and we kept looking mm-hmm. at all the Falcons receivers, player props. And we said, ah, which one do we like to go over? And I said to you, it said, Hey, Instead of trying to nail down which receiver is going to get the bulk of these uh, receptions, why don't we just look at the guy who's throwing them if we think uh, all these different receivers might go over? And that is Kirk Cousins, quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. A rough start to his Falcons career. He's 36 years old, coming off Achilles surgery, obviously. But the Eagles' pass defense is kind of weak, and we think Cousins can at least complete 22 passes. How many yards they go for is immaterial to this bet, obviously. Yeah, I don't don't care if it actually goes backwards. But here's the thing, guys. Look, I mean – the Eagles' pass defense is still bad. I mean, Jordan Love and the Packers were able to put up 29 points against them in that opener in Brazil. Uh, and the Falcons have to know, as much as you know, there is a, a run component to their offense, the one that Zach Robinson runs, the one that Sean McVay runs, the one that Kyle Shanahan runs, you see that whole tree that goes on. As much as there is a run component, the, the, the offense still has to run through Kirk Cousins throwing the football. Uh, and I expect this game to be a little bit higher scoring. You know, what's the total sitting at? 45, 45 and a half, somewhere in that range. Um, 46 now across the Wager Talk odd screen at most shops. Uh, even though that total has come down, I still think this is a higher scoring game. And I still think that when push comes to shove, especially if the Falcons are trailing late, you might get some garbage completions if they're stuck at 18, 19, you know, and the Falcons are trailing. Uh, what you hope for is, uh, you know, at the end of the first half, the Falcons have the ball and they're making completions to get down the field. And the same thing. If they're behind, um, then, then you know, they'll be throwing the ball late to try and play catch up here. So uh, there's a lot of opportunities here, but I'm with BP. Really didn't love any of the receiver numbers or 
the running back numbers. They felt like they were just probably one reception too high for me to get comfortable. So we'll look to Kirk Cousins here to get over 21 and a half and even money at certain shops. So shop around for a good number. Let's go over 21 and a half receptions with Kirk Cousins. That is your show or best bet. Completions, not yeah. receptions, completions. But, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Be, I'm saying, I would, if Kirk, I would if, if Kirk Cousins had 22 receptions tonight, that would be something. All right, but our best bet is actually – on Kirk hey, Cousins, that's, that's over 21 that's and a me. half completions. You're much, no, you're a lot tougher that's than me. that guy. And you're much smarter. Uh, by the way, new new special yeah. offer going on at wagertalk.com right now. You can save $100 off a combo season package of the NFL and college football. Just be sure, guys, to use coupon code FBALL100. That is F-B-A-L-L-1-0-0 at yes. checkout. Gives you an instant $100 hey, savings. Way. If you'd like to use that same package on my page at wt.buzz slash mz, just the code is you oh, suck. Okay. You'll get that. Okay. You'll get no, that it's same. not. That is that is not an official code. code. Mark Zeno okay. turns it around this week. Okay. Right. I'll I'll look to keep rolling. By the way, 27 and 13 running college. I'll slip that in here oh, right now while you're yelling. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> I I love you, buddy. I love you so much. Uh that's gonna do it for the show here today. Morning wager. It was great to be back with you, Mark, in the saddle again. Thank you for being here. Thank you for protecting our country. Thank you for being a fine human being. Thank you to Joe Ranieri on the back end. Can we can we get a jingle? We need a jingle right now. That's what we need. We need the Patty Johnson jingle. The only thing that was sloppier was my bets. That was it. And then Patty Johnson. That's it. So we have no jingle. We, we have no joy. There we go. We got the jingle. The week is turning around. I'll yeah, be on sure Wager Post today, later today. Uh, I, can't, I can't wait to get in there. Love it. Smash that like Goodbye. button, everybody. Subscribe to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. See you guys.